Okay. How are you today? I'm very well, thanks. How are you doing? Terrific. Thank you very much indeed. So, uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm a journalist. Uh, I, I work from home and I'm uh, uh, for a leading horticultural uh, magazine and website. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Um, so, uh, are you an expert gardener yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might have thought so. so I <laughs> wear a saddle, but uh, I, I, I can't claim an expert. But you know good horticulture when you see it. I, I reckon I do, yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, you're a bit into the amateur dramatics? Yeah, that's, that's a recent um, diversion of mine that a company has just recently set up here in Tendi and uh, I sort of put myself forward for that and then find myself being a bit of acting and a bit of directing and a bit of writing as well. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, have, any big mm -hmm. have, you, have you written, are you writing the pantomime or something like that? Or? Oh, no, that, that doesn't bother me. Well, I'm supposed to be actually one that I should be doing right now is putting together a little uh, skit for a show we're doing in, uh, in September. Uh, which I've been putting off uh, for a little while. All right, well, I'm sorry <laughs> to put you, put you further off over the last uh, ten minutes or so. Well, we can get straight down to work as soon as you go on with this. <laughs> so, classic albums or the Motown sound? Classic albums or the Motown sound? Ooh, um, Motown sound, I think. Motown, good. That's the stuff. Let's see how it goes. Nineteen points scored by Paul there, just to clear that up. So, yeah. that is your target today, Gavin. So, best of luck with that. Mm -hmm. And here they come. <laughs> What insect provided the title of U2's 1991 number one? The Fly. The Fly is right, three points. Having had her first top ten solo hit in 1965, which singer's most recent top ten single is the 2001 song The Music's No Good Without You? First solo hit, 65. No, Not Dusty, no, I'm afraid, no. It was Cher. Here's a bonus question. The Motown sound. Please identify this Motown performer from his one and only 1976 solo top ten hit. Who's that? Oh, Levi Stubbs? Not Levi Stubbs, uh, good guess, but no, it was David Ruffin. No. The 1975 top five hit, Angie Baby, was the only top 40 single for which Australian singer? Um. Angie Baby. Five, four, three. No, I can't believe it. Oh. Her name was Helen Reddy. Oh. Which hit by XTC has the subtitle, Is Going to Help Me? Uh, Sergeant Rock. Sergeant Rock is going to help me, yes, good. Bonus question, the Motown sound. Here's a hit duet from 1967. The male voice belongs to Marvin Gaye. Can you please name the female voice? <laughs> Gay and? Uh, Tammy Terrell? Not Tammy Terrell on that one, I'm afraid. No, it was Kim Weston on It Takes Two. Bad luck. In which year were the songs at number 30, 20 and 10 in this week's chart? Happy Talk by Captain Sensible, Take It Away by Paul McCartney, and A Night to Remember by Shalimar. Um... Oh, one year! I'm 82. So close. Bad luck. The mid-90s top five single, I Love You Always Forever, was the biggest hit for Donna Who? I Love You Always Forever. Donna. Five, four, three, two, one. Not Donna Allen, no. Donna Lewis. Here's a bonus question, the Motown sound. This song reached number two on the US Billboard charts, but failed to make a mark in the UK at the time. It was Motown's first record to sell a million copies. Please name the act. What's the act, please? Oh, you like it. Is it the no, it's not, I'm afraid. No, it's the Miracles. <laughs> Featuring, of course, Smokey Robinson, the Miracles. Shop around. 
Finally, 